Okay, today I'm going to show you how I automate a lot of my social media graphics and posting. Um, recently, TweetDeck announced um, some the, the ability to, to do some scheduling of graphics and videos and whatnot. Um, and I had made the comment that that's great, um, but I really need them to also add uh, CSV import. And someone had questioned um, that they didn't even know that was a thing, so I thought this would be an opportunity to show um, what I do. And so basically, um, I'm going to show you what I do, and I'm going to show you how you can hack uh, hack together what I do in, in Excel. So I have created this custom web page where what I do is each, every Monday, um, I come in here and I add all the all the events for the week. Uh, you know sport on the date the time I have a couple presets for our conference schools so I don't have to type that stuff in um, every week that helps with some typos um, so for example I can you know select Puget Sound and it pre-fills all that stuff in if it's a home event I can click home event and that will change that location automatically to uh, the home event uh, and then, uh, you know, it's a double header conference. So I, I include uh, home, conference, and double header. And basically what those are are, are for the social graphics. Um, for example, the um, uh, if it's a conference, I'll include the conference logo. If it's not a conference event, I won't include the conference logo. Things like that. And so I do this all, um, this is all custom PHP that I wrote. And if I... Uh, click on the Photoshop, it will generate a Photoshop file, and Hootsuite will generate a CSV file for Hootsuite so that I can schedule everything um, automatically. So let's, uh, this is what I did. I'm guessing most of you can't uh, create your own PHP pages. Um, so I got to thinking um, if I could do this in Excel. And so what I have is basically the same type of thing in Excel. So I've got uh, this is my this is where I would enter my events uh, for the week. I I haven't done this yet, but um, you could do some things with drop downs and whatnot to kind of speed this up and to um, have preset type stuff that would make this the entry a little bit faster. But what this what this allows you to do, and you know, it's the same with this, is that I can look I can look at my calendar and I can look at this and I can go through and I can real clearly I can I can search for typos or make sure everything's there make sure I'm not forgetting anything um, and that was kind of that was kind of where this whole thing came from is that I was I was making some little mistakes that I, I didn't didn't want to keep making and, and by doing this I can eliminate a lot of those mistakes so I enter all this information right here and so I've got two tabs social and Photoshop social is for Hootsuite and Photoshop is for Photoshop and um, so if we come in here and we look this is automatically generated based on what's in here so for example if I want to change Northwest Indian to Linfield and if I come back to social um, now then that will say Linfield Oops, sorry let's go back and let's change that back to Northwest Indian and now it's back to Northwest Indian so if I add another one, let's go WBKB, and we'll say that it's on the 12th at 19 at, let's say, let's say it's at 5, let's make that PM, 5 PM, and let's say that this is verse Evergreen State. In Cone Fieldhouse, it's a home event. It's not a Northwest Conference event, and it's not a doubleheader. The doubleheader thing there is just for softball and baseball, but it, it helps so that I can um, I don't have to create I can create one graphic for for the doubleheader and, and indicate that such in the graphic. And so we've added that, and now if I come into social, and I just come down here and bring us down one more row. And there we go. Game day. And so this is essentially, this is the tweet that will get sent. 
and this is the time that it will get sent. Um, I used to set this up so that like it would it would get sent, you know, four or five x number of hours before the game time. And what I found is it was actually easier to set everything at 9 a.m. and then in Hootsuite go and move things around. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So super easy, boom. Um, well, super easy to do. The setup is kind of complex. If if you look in in this, um, that is a pretty complex formula. And basically, what it's doing is it's doing some lookups. Um, oh, let me go back in there and escape so I don't change that. It's doing some lookups to this field um, over here, um, so I can define uh, what some of these values are. So. I can define WBKB is my code for women's basketball um, event identifier. That's, you know, whether I say game day, meet day, race day, match day, whatever, I can define that here. And then the Twitter handle for that, that sport. And then my various messages, my away message and my home message. So is this, um, and so for example, you can see when I come into this, social media game day picks that up because it's women's basketball uses their handle as is in and then force grove oregon that's a substitution and who we play uh, and so it's super easy to edit um, all from these these are my settings these are the values so basically once you have this done you only have to do this once per sport and once it's set, it's done, and and then we can just add add sports and uh, go forth. Um, and then this is another tab, and this is to create the Photoshop CSV. And this one's more compli complicated because my Photoshop file is pretty complicated. Uh, and actually, why don't we just do this, and we can pull this down, and it's going to add another one. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. And there we go. So there's that evergreen state. So the, some, some of the fields here, we've got file name. Uh, that's so when I save the Photoshop doc out, they have uh, unique file names. These right here in my Photoshop doc are for, and I think I've showed this off before, but this is for the, the sport logo, game day, NWC, whether or not that gets included, double header, and then I call it event for you know basketball, football, etc. That's who we're playing for sport like cross country, track, or swimming. That might be you know you know Puget Sound Invitational or something like that. The location and all of this stuff is all getting generated automatically based on uh, some formulas. And then I've got all these over here, and these are folders in Photoshop for images. And for example, let's. So this is my graphic, and I have a folder. I have two folders for each sport, uh, except for football. Football's only got one. Basically, it's most most sports have two events per week. Uh, sometimes there's three, sometimes there's one, um, but two just setting up two uh, gets gets you by. And if there's for some reason there's a week with three, it, it requires a little extra work on after you generate everything, but it's it's not too bad. And so in each folder, I can add, I got my women's basketball two and my women's basketball one. And so I can add those folders, those images to those folders. So what I'll do is once things, everything's created, then I'll come in and I'll say, okay, I've got two women's basketball games. I'll drop in two photos. I got two men's basketball games. I'll drop in two photos. And actually in this case, you can see I've got three men's basketball games. So there's actually three photos. And what'll happen then is after I generate all the files, I'll just open one of them up and 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 hide the the top photo to get that third that third option. And so in Excel, all of these right here are basically defining whether or not that photo that that folder is visible. And so if I go to women's basketball, you can see it says false, so it's not, it's not, it's not, it's true. So that one. And this is a women's basketball game because it's true. So you can look there, WBKB, first University of Puget Sound, and so on and so forth. So this, you're kind of looking at it, it's kind of uh, intimidating. But once you've got it all set up, it just kind of works. 
and what she then what she would do is once you've edited this set it up to where you want then you're just going to save a csv file out from each one each one of these um each one of these tabs so one for social media and one for photoshop so for example i've got social go file save as I want to set it to CSV. This is a social. I'll click save. Yes, I want to replace it. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to keep using that format. So cancel. So what that what what I did there is it it generated the CSV file, uh, but it didn't save the doc uh, as a, a CSV. It just it just generated that one. And so there it is. There's my social. And if I open that up, you can see there it's just a CSV file, super simple. And I've already done the Photoshop one. There it is right there. You can see again, it's it's super intimidating when you look at it like this. But once you get everything set up, you don't really have to look at this. You just save the file. And so in Photoshop, what I would do is my image variables data sets let's import select the file csv i want photoshop click ok and it imported it and now if i scroll through here you can see that it it ooh well no yeah that's that's cuz i actually didn't save it save that file after i edited that so um you can see all the graphics. So let's actually let's do that real quick, and so you can you can see. So let's go to Photoshop, File, Save As, save a CSV file. Call it Photoshop. Save. I want to replace it. Yes, that's okay. Some features. Save a lot. You want to form, keep using that form? No. And cancel. And so it generated. Photoshop, and there it is. You can see there's actually that extra line there that got generated. And for some reason, Photoshop will yell at me that the file is open. Um, I'm not sure why it thinks Excel still has it open, even though it's uh, it doesn't. But so we'll close Excel, and then we'll import this again. And so now. Now, there we go. So now it's set up. Now I've got my swim. And you can see it changes. Oh, actually, because I don't have, I don't, that's, that's, I didn't set match. Right. So this, this Excel file I have, I just kind of set up basically for basketball and looks like I only did half a swimming because um, that's not how I'm going to use it. Um, it was just for a proof of concept. I use my website. But you can see um, that all this stuff updates as we go. And, what you can do then let's so we've got there's empty folder right there I'm gonna go export data sets as files all data sets and come back to this and now you can see those files are starting to populate back in And so just like that, super simple, I've generated all these graphics uh, without having to do a ton of editing in Photoshop, and uh, pretty simple. And this is where an example where you can see, okay, um, you can see that, that where, where'd that third one go? Okay, yeah, so there's we got Saturday. You can see right there, they, they're, because we've got three basketball games, two of them are the same. So I would just open one of them and hide that top photo to get that third one there. So that's kind of the gist. And it's one of those things where, like I said, I use this and it's awesome. Um, I'm guessing many of you can't do that. Um, but if you could, go for it. It's, it saves me a ton of time. And if not, uh, like I said, you can do it in Excel. But... Um, be wary when you're doing this in Excel that it does, it is super, some of these formulas are, 
are pretty complicated and you just kind of have to go at it slowly and you can see there's several B lookups and a bunch of nested formulas um, to get to get that those correct and then in the Photoshop one one of the other things that was tricky was that in basketball well in bas basketball is the one I did so because we have two folders we want the very first one only the first folder to be visible so you can see basketball 2 is not visible there but it is visible there and then this, when we get to the second one it doesn't actually matter if this one's visible but now this one is visible the folder 2 which is on top so then this this one will be um, will be shown and you can see that's a complicated uh, formula too, trying to figure out figure out those but if anyone wants this Excel file I can I can send it to you and um, I'd be more than happy so that's it um, well actually no let me show you let me show you how, how it works in if we go to Hootsuite so in Hootsuite uh, we go to publisher content and then into bulk composer and then from bulk composer we can select a file let's go to desktop and we'll go to where did I put that there we are and then we'll go social and we'll start to do bearcats oh, bearcats view messages and so there they are all those things are there and then what I can do is I select a message and then over here I have let's see if I can make this two screen make this split screen so you can see So right there, then I can just say, okay, women's basketball is in Forest Grove. Let's find uh, that would be Friday women's basketball. Uh, some of these are actually generated from before, and so just pull that in there. It uploads. Oh no, it doesn't upload. Um, this is the next, the other, the other step what you would have to do then is convert all these PSD files into PNGs and you can do that I do that with a batch files uh, tools Photoshop batch actually let's come back over here so you can see that so I have them all selected tools Photoshop batch and under actions I have saved to PNG batch and doing running this will just generate PNG files for all those and then I view them like this and just drag them into each one and click next. I'm not going to click next because I'm actually already scheduled. But what what will happen then is I will get basically this right here and I'll go to the day and I'll go forward. And basically they'll all be at 9. So I'll go Friday and I'll move this one to you know slide it up, slide it down. I go the next day, slide one up, slide one down. And like I said before, I originally started doing this where these were were scheduled a certain amount of time before the game, and I found it better just to set them all at nine o'clock in the morning, and then move them as appropriate. It just was it was a little quicker. So that's it. That's how I do all my social graphic scheduling, my game day graphic scheduling, and it's all based on CSVs and Photoshop. So if you have any questions, let me know.